Hey, I'm Chris. And if you're someone who's experiencing this problem of controlling your mind, it is because of this thing. Uh, let me explain. So there is a subconscious you and the conscious you, right? There is the human animal and the human being is what people usually refer to. And this human animal or subconscious is taking actions along with your conscious mind. They're simultaneously always taking actions in some way, shape, or form, right? Usually, you notice it when they resist each other, not when they agree with each other, okay? So, what I'm trying to tell you here is that if you're having a problem with this, not only is your subconscious and your conscious disagreeing with each other, but nine times out of ten, your subconscious actions are being prioritized over your conscious mind, the you, the you, the human being, right? So how do we get over this problem? Because it's happening a lot, right? It's not like just you is suffering with this problem alone and it's like you are the stranger towards this thing. Like everyone's dealing with it. So I'm going to come up with a simple solution to this subconscious overriding that's happening with many people and it's blinking right so you might be asking me how would blinking help me overwrite my subconscious mind and i want to i want to use blinking because blinking is normally a subconscious thing it is a thing that you don't actually recognize or control throughout your day and obviously you do it a lot so if you start to blink consciously what you're telling yourself is that you're putting in this like entry, right? Because like think about think about um, your mind as like a like a computer code, right? You're putting in an entry that says, "When I blink, I am overriding my conscious instead of my subconscious. Therefore, my conscious has a higher priority over my subconscious." Okay, but how do I take it beyond blinking and do it to other places? First, start like manually blinking, right? Start manually blinking. You notice that I'm bl manually blinking right now, right? That gets your conscious working. That gets your conscious operating. It's, it's, it's the same thing with manual breathing, right? It gets your conscious working. And once that's really set in place, you can start to cultivate the habit of prioritizing this, this consciousness and put that in other scenarios, right? So let me give you an example. If I was trying to cook an egg, right? And maybe I did it this one way for years, right? Did this one way for years. Boom. I just blinked. My conscious is activated and it's like, wait, so you usually cook your eggs too long. Let me only cook it for like two minutes instead of three, right? And then you start to apply that conscious knowledge, right? You start to apply the conscious things that are going on in your mind. And then you're really up here where your conscious is replacing your subconscious thought and your consciousness wins, and the advocate will win, and the thing that wants you to win will win, right? And having that ability to control your mind, right? To control how and what you do with your day turns into controlling the results of your week, month, year, and life, right? If most people didn't have the capability to get a job, okay, then, what was I gonna say here, All right? If most people didn't have the capabilities to get a job, they would be unable to put their consciousness over their subconscious, right? Because for most people anyways, because their mindset's all messed up, they're like, oh, work sucks, oh, work this, oh, work that, and they complain, and they make their life worse, 
right? They see life through a worst lens. But now, if you take it to conscious level and you say, well, why would I view life through a worse sense, a worse, a, sorry, a worse lens when I can view it through a better lens and therefore get better results and therefore be a better person and therefore get more money, right? You can do all these things, okay? And you do all these things and eventually they become a result. Something comes out of it, right? So building these consciousness by blinking is basically the fundamental for taking your conscious mind and reprioritizing it over your subconscious, right? Since the interesting thing about the subconscious is that the human animal, we'll call it, right, is very appealing to take the action towards, since obviously it's more of the hardwired things that are going on in our mind, right? And the problem with that is that companies have, have learned how to manipulate that thing to make you do things that you probably do not want to do Right? And to take that onto another level, that eventually becomes what you don't want to do in your own personal life. Okay? Here's what I mean. <coughs> Sorry. So, what I mean is that if you were to. <coughs> my God. Woo! Yeah, sorry, I'm seeing a bit. <laughs> But if you were to, like, let's say you don't want McDonald's, right? But your parents force you to get McDonald's, right? It's this weird scenario. And so you're, like, eating the McDonald's in sorrow, okay? And <laughs> then it's a thing that is very interesting because if you allow that thing, right, allow that type of scenario to enter into your own personal life as of you, the being, when you move out or when you, you know, when you just, when you just, when you're on your own finally, right? Is that thing going to creep into your life? Maybe. But you have to be aware of that. So, it's a tricky thing, this subconscious and conscious balance. You have to always make sure that you are capable and that you are going to, not willing to, but going to. Because remember, emotions are associated with the animal of the human being, not the conscious mind. So, if you're trying to become better at one thing, a lot of times your emotions are going to be against you and with you. They're going to be like, just teeter-totter. Don't work, don't rely on them, right? It's like, it's like oh, I'm going to go rely on this thing for motivation. Sure, you could do that. But the first day you feel sad, I know you're not going to do it anymore. Because you're going to be like, oh, I'm sad, oh. And then I'll do it. It's like, okay. Doesn't really help you or me or anyone else, right? So, I'm going to wrap it up there. Controlling your mind with only blinking. I hope that makes sense. And I hope that helps you cultivate the ability to put your conscious mind over your subconscious mind. Being able to take actions that are in a way that benefit you rather than downplay your capabilities we'll say and outside of that go do the thing and that's gonna be it for me so thank you and as always we're here to help you help them